Hey everyone, meet Brandon here. Ever have a freezer? This is just a mini fridge. Get like so full of ice that you can't even close the little door and it kind of causes a lot of problems. This is a trick that I've learned. You get boiling hot water, pour it in a pan like this, put it beneath the ice. Of course, clear out the entire fridge and turn it off wherever your little button is. You can unplug it, you can turn it off, whatever you want to do. Um, the most important thing to do is have some kind of drip tray to catch the drip. So it obviously just started dripping. Hopefully you can see it right there. I literally started this about a minute ago, so it's pretty fast. You also want to have some towels kind of just based around the base because it, if, if you have to go do something for like an hour or two and you just leave it here, it'll, all that'll melt and drip all over your fridge and all over your floor. So um, but if you're watching it, maintaining it, you should be able to just swap this out a couple times. But no matter what, you're going to have some water on your floor. So a towel or two is helpful. So I want to make this short. I'm probably going to send another video showing the end result and how long it took. Um, I started right at 9 a.m. And there you go. You want to change these out too real quick. You know, like maybe leave it in there for 10 minutes, boiling hot water. You know, you, I have two in there just to add heat. You can close the door if you want. You can leave it open. I feel like just leaving it open, the heat, it'll, it, it definitely works. So uh, it just depends on your patience level. So hope that helps. I give you an update on how it's going on the next video. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. Hope it saves you time, money, and some frustration. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So I'm kettling some more water or boiling it, whatever your term is. And... Here's the progress that we're at right now. It's doing well, it's only about 10 minutes in. You can see a nice steady drip. Here's something you can do too. You can get a pot or you know anything like similar like this that'll fit. Of course, be careful because the water can be hot. It's not as hot obviously because it's sitting in the cold, but you can see it's literally melting. Um, sorry about that. Melting this and this is what I want to show you. If you get a big chunk of ice, that breaks off like this, get it out of there. <laughs> Either throw it down there or like for me, I have a sink right here. Get it out of there and throw it in the sink so then you don't have all this water, extra water dripping. And you'll notice some parts of it will will break off in chunks. So if it does, that's great. Don't try and rip it. You can break the plastic and things. Let it melt. But I was just going to show you, so I just transitioned the water because obviously the water's not, and that's one way to melt the ice that's in here. Um, the water cools down pretty quick because it's in a freezer, obviously. So then you kettle your water like I just showed you. Pour some more boiling water in there. You can hopefully see the steam. It's pretty hot. You don't need tons. You know, just don't, don't risk burning yourself. Just get enough water in there to heat, you know, the the pot, the pan, whatever you're using, and then get it in there. Careful. And then, sorry about the camera angle. Watch, you should be, I'm trying to illustrate, you can see it like melting right there. So, you know, if you're careful, you can do this and you have patience. It'll speed it up a lot. You can see it's starting to drip even faster. But, um, you know, if you just want to set it in there, and let the steam and the heat do the work. It'll do it too, it just might take you a little longer. So I was just showing you a, a tip or a trick to help speed it up, because it's, you know, 10, 15 minutes. You got some melting, but obviously that's pretty thick. That's like two to three inches thick in certain parts, maybe even four or five in the back. So I hope that helps save time and money. Thanks again, I'll show the last video um, of the final product and how long it took. Thanks for watching, hope this helps. Okay, Nelly, what are we doing? I'm three and I'm helping my dad clean out the refrigerator, actually the freezer. So hopefully you saw in the first few videos, guys, we did a drip pan, which by the way, you wanna move it around depending on where the drips are. I don't know if you can see it's dripping a lot back there. So this is catching it some. But then, you know, just move things around. It was dripping on the front, but that's all melted. And I wanted to show you guys, look, watch this. Watch, Nelly. Look at this. This big chunk is, looks like it's gonna come out. Okay, wait. Oh! Now be careful, because I have hot water in there. Obviously with a small child, you wanna be careful too. What? But, what? What? 
Mama. Here we go. You want to help me, Daddy? You want to help me? Here, hold the phone. Can you hold the phone? Okay. Hold it like this. Good girl. Right there. And aim it up. Let's see if we can see the ice come out. Obviously, sometimes it's going to be stuck, guys. So, just go slow. Don't Can hurt. I help you? Don't hurt yourself. Take your time. There we go. Look at this, Nelly. Look. Whoa. What's that? You want to hold it? Yeah. It's pretty cold. <laughs> Okay, so there you go, guys. Look at that massive piece came out. Just throw it in the sink or the cooler or outside, wherever your freezer is. And look, so this took about 48 minutes to do all that. I probably changed the water out about seven or eight times. Um, now there is some ice down here. I don't know if you can see. But, and that was the other thing I was gonna say, Nelly, Nelly, is you don't wanna like try and, you'll break these. These are so brittle. And don't chip with like a chisel or whatever. You can break the whole, just let the hot water do it. So basically in an hour, you can uh, hopefully show before where basically I had ice like all in here. This whole chunk was ice. So, and then the towel's not soaking wet, so it's really not a big mess as long as you work at it and use your hot water. Of course, be careful. We need to be safe, right, Nelly? What's that? <laughs> and have fun with your kids, right? Yummy. Okay, let's melt it. Here we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope that saved you some time and money. Hit thumbs up if you like the cute kids. This does help bring income and pay for their college. So say thanks, everybody. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye, guys. Okay. Bye.